So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be starting off with creating our first store with React. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Material UI first of all, so that, you know, we can just get a little help along the way. So what we want to do, first of all, to set up our store is obviously just set up the header. So let's see how we can find that. I'm just going to go ahead and search for header. Let's see if we have anything top bar app bar there we go so you just have to you know just try to find any sort of component which you want so you can see that we have something like some components like this and uh, what we want to do really is just go with any one of them so let's just go let's just go ahead with this one for now right select the typescript one because you know it just gives you the source code out of the box but for a lot of stuff we don't really want this so what we want to do instead is just pick up the app bar thing, the app bar thing, right? And just go ahead and instead of this, just create a component called header, which is going to place our header inside the app, right? So I'm going to import the header now from components header. And we have to still create this file so there we are so let's just go ahead and create a folder called components right and inside this components folder i'll just create a folder called header and inside this header i'll just create a file called index.tsx right so once we are inside this i'm just going to go ahead and import react from react and we'll just have a const header which would be a functional component. So this is TypeScript. React.fc means that this would be a functional component. And uh, we're going to get some props in here and we're going to return what we copied, right? And hopefully we can just import it straight out of the icon stuff, right? Straight of the material UI stuff. So we can just get rid of these classes for now because we don't really want them other than that we can just import the icons and stuff from the material ui icons packet so let's just go ahead and install that real quick material ui slash icons and we're going to save that as well till then we can just import the other components which we have right get rid of the classes for now and we're going to see when we need them all right, so after resolving all the imports and stuff and, you know, just cleaning it a little bit, we can see that if I export default header and if I take a look at the output right here, we're going to see that we get roughly the same thing, but, you know, it is all scratched at just right here. So let's just go ahead and copy this uh, grow class, right, because we want to have the flex grow one assigned to this particular div, which we had right so i'm just going to give it a flex crow of one here and later on we're going to see how we can add some styles manually to our typescript thing so let, let me just open the inspector right here as well so that we can inspect some styles so you can see once we do that it just fixes the icons and stuff but not the search bar yet so we're going to have this thing right here with us let's see if this works so i'm gonna see where we are applying the search class so let's see classes dot search it is after the material ui thing so that means right here so i'm gonna give it a style here as well position relative border radius is uh we don't have this yet and or actually let me just go ahead and use the class name itself styles.search now let's just go ahead and create these styles anyway right so we're gonna go ahead and copy this so it's basically a hook provided by the material ui material ui library to actually include styles within the component itself but i don't really like that a lot so let's see what we can do about it later on but for now i'm just gonna import this stuff right here 
All right, so once we have that in place, what we can do is just now go ahead and make use of this U styles hook. So I'm gonna say const styles is equal to U styles. That is our hook above. And it's not really, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a hook, which depends on the current theme, right? So once we have that, styles.search should be just fine. And once we do that, and let it recompile we're going to see that we should have the correct output so let's see so we are close but uh, not really so i'm just going to give this search icon a class as well and uh, where's that there we are styles.search icon and search icon is right here right so there we go and once we do that we should be good to go on the search icon thing and right here as well all right finally need to fix the input thingy so how do we fix that well we're gonna see that the input has these two classes so we're gonna apply them as well. So finally we have styles.input root and input input. So input root is this and input input is this. So there we go, right? And now you can see that we have a nice little search bar with a hamburger icon, a title, and some icons on the right now obviously we can just trim it down real quick as well by getting rid of all the icons on the left on the right but we'll do that we'll just do that later so i'm just gonna replace this with our maybe like you know our books bookstore something like this or maybe not bookstore because i'm not really good with books i don't read books a lot so let's just say our movie store why not right so this would be our movie store and we would be displaying all, all sorts of movies and you would be able to filter and do a lot of stuff, right? So there we are, right? So once it loads, our movie store is here. We have a search bar. We have some icons and this is all material UI, right? Specific guidelines from Google. And uh, yeah, so that's all. That's all for this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And in the next one, we'll proceed forward. So see you then in the next video.